All right. Uh, hello again, and this is part two of views. Now, in the first one, we've, we were able to create a view and place it on the screen wherever we want it, right? Wherever the user touches. Now, as I was telling you, there is two things that we take in consideration, okay? There is something called the frame. That's what you saw here. The frame, and that's that rectangle that we've created, which is, it has an X and Y, and a width and a height. And these, the frame is usually used in reference to the parent view. So when I click on here, I use the X and Y, wherever I clicked in that view, and this is the location where that view will be, uh, that the sub view will be, uh, will be added, all right? Now, each view has its own coordinate system. So this view has what we call the bound. So it has X and Y, which is the zeros here. With this view, it has a zero here and zero. And it has the width and the height, which is 60 by 60. So that is the difference. You have a bound for the view, which is the size and its own coordinate system. And then you have the frame, which is the location and the size of the sub view in reference to the parent view, all right? So if I want to add a sub view to this view, and I want to center it in the middle, how would I do this? We create, let's create another view, let V2. Here I'm gonna use the uh, other initializer method instead of doing it in two steps. We'll say let view, equal UI view and what I'm going to do, I'm gonna provide the CG rect at the same time. So I don't have to do it in two steps. Here I'm gonna say CG rect, I'm gonna create the rectangle. I um, will provide, here's what we're going to do. I need X and Y, right? X and Y, it will be in the center of this view. Right, remember it has a bound. So to access the bound, so you say v dot bounds dot width divided by two. All right. Same thing here. You say uh, v dot bounds dot height and divided by two. It's not going to be exactly in the center. We'll fix it in a minute. And then the width. Let's say it's twenty by twenty. Let's make it 30, yeah, 20 by 20. Okay. So I've created a view, view two. I'm using the bounds for the, uh, for the first view that we've created to make sure that it is placed within that view. So now if I say, if I say V2 or v1, v dot add sub view, and we're adding v2. Now what happens, this view has its or coordinate system. I'm adding this based on the bounds, x and y, and the bounds of this uh, view, which is the one we created earlier, okay, which is 60 and 60. If you divide that by 30, 20 divide that by 2 is 30 by 30. So it will put that view at the, uh, at the point 30 and 30. So if you run it, oh, we need to change the background color. Okay, one more thing here. Let's change the background color to a different color here. Command copy. <clears throat> so it looks different. Otherwise, you will have the same background color. All right. So here I'm going to say this is green color all right now you click on this notice what's going to happen click i changed all right v1 here one more this is the problem with copying and pasting v2 okay whoa the height <laughs> we did not divide by two we need to divide by two all right and then now you'll see that it is in the middle of that. But this is the middle point. But if you want it really to be centered, you have to do a little bit of math where you just subtract 
half of 10 from both sides. So it'll be minus 10 on this side, minus 10 on this side. Now it will be centered in the middle. Okay. So now if you look, uh, I need spaces. It doesn't like that. You'll see that you got a view in the center. Okay. All right. And we'll stop with this video. And the next video I will do is that how we access these views in the pen and view, how we remove them, and how we change some of their properties. Okay. So I'm going to stop this video. And we'll start with another video.